Hey guys, this is Android from the Ghost Squadron Airsoft team and today I'm going to talk about my Airsoft loadout. My loadout allows me to carry everything I need and still be easily accessible while being a medium build where it's not too big or too small. Starting at the top, I have my Emerson Fast Repro helmet which I have painted over with a foliagerine snakeskin camo. On the helmet at the front I have an MVG shroud which allows me to mount my GoPro. For iPro, I have a revision Desert Locust goggles. And for my face, I have a lower mesh mask connected to my fast helmet. Moving down, I have my True Spec Woodland Marpat combat shirt with proper Woodland Marpat ACU cut pants. We often wear Woodland Marpat, but as the mission changes and depending on what team we're on, we change up our camouflage pattern. For my plate carrier, I have a Fly 6094A in Coyote Brown. I chose this plate carrier because it wasn't too small. I like to have a good amount of surface area to work with instead of having to cram everything into one small space. On the front of my plate carrier, I have a Blackhawk Coyote Brown admin pouch, which allows me to carry flashlights, speed loaders. I also put my phone in there. It allows me to carry whatever I need and allows me to access it quickly. On the front of my plate carry, I have a double rifle mag pouch, which is made by Red Rock. It allows me to carry four M4 style mags and allows me to access them quickly with a Velcro flap. I prefer a close top mag pouch because I feel like the mags aren't going to fall out as easily if I go prone, if I run around, and I feel more secure. If I had an open top, I, I would be looking down at my mags a lot and I'd be worried that they would fall out. On my right cummerbund, I have a Condor admin pouch, which is very large and allows me to hold electrical tape cleaning cloths, and map if I would need it. On my left cummerbund, I have another set of Red Rock mag pouches, which allows me to hold four more mags. That gives me a total space to carry eight mags, while I only have six mags with one in the gun, and it allows me to have different options of where I can put the mags. On the back of my plate carry, I have a Coyote Brown Condor map. In my backpack, I carry comms, hydration bladder, ammo, whatever else the guys decide to throw in my back, I just carry it. That allows me to carry whatever I do not need to be immediately accessible. And on my right leg, I have a UTG drop leg holster in Woodland Marpet. And in that holster, I carry my WE1911 gold finish pistol. I carry the sidearm just in case my primary goes down and I need to switch to it quickly. And speaking of my primary, this is my HK416 that is highly modified. We've customized the 416 to have a fast trigger response while still being consistently in arm's length engagement distance. On my 416, I have a simple red dot sight with a Magpul angled foregrip and a Magwell grip. Both grips allow me to switch between different shooting styles depending on the situation. The system is very ergonomic and comfy. I found myself holding onto the magwell a lot, so that's why I got the magwell grip. And the angled foregrip I chose because I already had a vertical foregrip and it was very uncomfortable and the angled foregrip just allows a more comfortable shooting position. Finally, my combat boots are made by Maelstrom. I would not suggest these boots. They have a zipper on the side which often gets stuck a lot and I've actually broken the right zipper. And I also dislike how they're not waterproof. That is my setup. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it helped you guys decide what you want to put on your airsoft loadout. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.